can start now whenever you want. Okay. Uh, bonjour. Hello, everyone. Um, good morning from uh, Stouffville, Ontario. Um, hope that you've been enjoying Hackfest thus far. Uh, it's uh, certainly great uh, for for me and the team to be back um, at Hackfest. Um, and needless to say, we'd uh, all prefer to be uh, in Quebec uh, today, but um, uh, given the circumstances, it's still great to, to still be able to do this. So wanted to, to thank uh, Patrick and the organizing committee, um, all the sponsors and um, the, the volunteers who are, who are able to make this possible. Um, my talk today uh, will be something that I'm, I'm very passionate about, and um, I, I suspect many of you uh, will be. Um, and I hope uh, by the end of it uh, that you will be able to, to see why and uh, have a, a, a few takeaways which will help you while you go forth, um, not in, only in your vocation in cybersecurity, but uh, also for, for maybe some life lessons as well. So um, yeah, just uh, asking you to sit back, uh, grab uh, your your first or your second cup of coffee, and um, I know I've had uh, just had a, a Saint Viateur bagel to start the day off, so I'm um, I'm good and I'm I'm raring to go, and uh, hope you enjoy the talk. So the talk is about how to make up high performing pen test team uh, from scratch. Um, I'll be sharing some of the uh, lessons learned that um, I've had for, our, for the last seven years while we, we started uh, our pen test team, literally from, from a single co-op intern, a highly motivated and intelligent one. And um, here we are seven years later. So uh, yeah, just wanna share some of the journey. Uh, before we start, before I do start into it, though, I did want to um, uh, dedicate the talk to a, a dear friend of Hackfest um, and uh, a colleague uh, of mine for, for a very short time. But um, it's uh, Stephen Mapare, um, who uh, uh, we have very fond pr uh, memories of, of Stephen. And, um, and uh, our, our last Hackfest, we were all together as a team. and. Uh, we certainly uh, enjoyed our time, and um, uh, uh, Stephen's a very important uh, individual to me. And uh, um, one of the biggest compliments I've ever received uh, as a manager was was from Stephen, and uh, he uh, he said he shared that uh, I made uh, him coming to work every day meaningful, and um, I'll always remember him for 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 that um, that comment. So his memory still uh, lives in all of us, and um, that worked with him and we're friends with him and uh, he is uh, certainly the primary motivation uh, for my my talk today. So um, cheers to you, uh, Stephen, and uh, may you rest in peace, my friend. So a little bit about myself, um, Darren Chin, as you know, um, I uh, am of uh, Hakka Chinese origin. Um, I was actually born in Jamaica, uh, uh, lived there till I was 12, then uh, I was able to, to move to, to Canada with my family and uh, been here for uh, at least three quarter, over three quarters of my, my life. I'm certainly a proud Canadian and um, you can see from um, some of the flags that I have here up here, um, I've uh, seen and, and even had the opportunity to live in, in a lot of uh, different places here in Canada. Um, it's my hope one day to, to visit every, every part of our beautiful country. And um, um, also um, I'm married to, to a, a beautiful Mexican woman. We have uh, three uh, just amazing kids. Um, all of who I hope one day will be trilingual. They're all in French immersion. And um, of course, my wife is teaching them Spanish. So um, a little bit about me. Um, I'm also a, a very avid sports fan. I love sports. I love participating. I love watching. 
And uh, sometimes I get uh, the privilege of uh, coaching my kids. So uh, yeah, sports is a big part of my life. Um, as you're about to see, I'm also a bit of a foodie. And um, thankfully, a lot of uh, our team are as well. And uh, a lot of our good team uh, building events uh, are based around food and beverage and, and a lot of fun. And um, we'll be, so you'll see the theme of uh, what I've spoke on today is going to be around food. So um, like many of us, you know, I had uh, uh, affinity, my affinity for computers started off early in life. I um, uh, did my first programming program in basic on a uh, Commodore PET. So that'll tell you that i um, pretty much a dinosaur. Um, but um, for most of, of you, you probably have um, similar kind of uh, in, um, uh, reflections as well. Uh, my, my professional career started after I graduated from the University of Waterloo and I started off as a, as a programmer for, in, for firmware um, in Assembler and C. I did that for a year and then I realized that that wasn't really my calling. Um, so I, I transitioned uh, for the next 10 years into working with two uh, software development companies um, in their support department uh, because I, I had more affinity to working with customers and um, that was uh, more along uh, my, my passion. Um, after, uh, uh, before graduation, um, I've always had aspirations of uh, starting my own company and I did eventually achieve that, um, but not in, in anything that uh, you'd, be, you'd expect. Um, I actually ended up starting a retail operation and uh, that was certainly a, a learning and, a, and even a bit of a humbling experience, but um, I certainly took a lot of uh, great lessons from, from running my own business for 10 years and um, some of those are many of those skills that I learned then uh, were transferable to to uh, what I'm I'm using today so just a lesson learned there that uh, every opportunity um, is an opportunity to to uh, hone skills that you may develop and use uh, for future in life so nothing is ever um, uh, a wasted um, um, do it to your best of your ability so when that uh, uh, work opportunity uh, ended, um, I, uh, we were moved uh, back to Toronto um, uh, from BC, uh, which were, we were at, at at the time. And I, I was very blessed to, to meet two young men who were starting up a, a boutique risk uh, management consulting firm. And um, uh, they had formed a company called Eosenza. And um, I've been now working, fortunate to be working with those two gentlemen for the last 12 years plus. Um, as you can see from my, my certs, um, I'm uh, what you would call paper security, as uh, one of my colleagues used to call it, uh, certified. Um, uh, I spent the first half of my security career uh, in um, developing um, security programs and performing risk assessment for numerous different companies. Um, had a lot of success in, in getting companies ISO 27001 certified and um, yeah, very proud of the accomplishments that our team did uh, during those uh, years. Uh, but seven years ago, I was given a, a challenge by, by our, princ our um, principals at the time to, to start up a, a pen test um, team. And um, I'm not sure why they chose me, but I guess they thought that someone from electrical engineering could, could probably be the right person to do that. So I'm thankful that they did because uh, we started seven years ago with, uh, again, this co-op intern and um, we've now formed a team that um, does work in, in starting from your traditional pen tests uh, to now uh, red teaming. So I um, want to share a little bit about that and uh, just show, um, share about the passion, my passion for, for not only the InfoSec pe um, uh, field, but also for the people that I work with. So uh, before we start off, um, and uh, the talk was about how uh, how to build a high performance team. And 
you know, while I was uh, preparing to to do this talk, I, I considered, um, you know, what we had done, but I went back to uh, to to find out exactly how you defined a high for performing team. <clears throat> So I did a Google search and I'll just share what uh, the Wikipedia definition is here verbatim. So a high performance team can be defined as a group of people with specific roles and complementary talents and skills aligned with and committed to a common purpose who consistently show levels of collaboration and innovation, produce superior results and extinguish radical or extreme opinions that could be damaging. The high performance team is regarded as tight knit, focused on their goal, and have uh, supportive processes that will enable any team member to surmount any barriers in achieving the team's goals. So, yeah, that is a, certainly a long winded discussion, uh, sorry, uh, definition, but I'm going to show you some of the attributes for a, a high performing team as well. And these are things that, uh, you know, as we go through them, you may consider um, how your team is, is uh, stacking up with regards to, to some of these attributes. So uh, starting um, from the, the right, uh, specific roles um, is something that state stands out. Um, yeah, I found a, a work career that, yeah, everyone has a specific role that uh, they need to play and not everyone can can do those roles um, properly or, or effectively so that's certainly important complementary skills like not everyone has their own strengths and talents and uh, certainly that's what brings uh, together a, a, a finely tuned working team common purpose is certainly important what are you working towards collaboration working together learning how to work together Innovation is certainly something for a pen test team that's important. Um, everyone wants to be cutting edge. Everyone wants to be doing the latest and greatest or knowing about it. Um, of course, superior, superior results. You know how um, how are your client uh, um, client uh, response to your work? Tight knit is a, is a extremely important one, I believe, for for all teams that are high performing. Uh, goal oriented, um, not only team goals, but also individual goals, I think are, are extremely um, important to define. Shared leadership, um, absolutely, uh, where, where team members feel that uh, they have a voice in, in, any, in some of the decision making processes. Conflict resolution, um, ensuring that whenever conflict does arise, and that certainly will occur with um, people who are, are so highly intelligent and have, uh, uh, for, for me, the most part, are, have a very high opinion of, of, of how things should work. Um, conflict uh, will arise and conflict is, is not a bad thing. It can be actually a quite positive thing um, if handled correctly. Clear focus goes along with the, the, the common purpose, you know, keeping everyone um, focused on, on what we're trying to achieve. Shared values is extremely also important for, for how things are done within your team. What are the expectations? Accountability, um, ensuring that everyone is personally, um, ensure that they, they, their work, uh, there's integrity to what they do in their work and um, accepting um, yeah, the, any uh, consequences to their actions. Intense energy and uh, yeah, we'll find that uh, definitely there are going to be some who uh, who who drive uh, or push the needle, and um, uh, others uh, may not uh, as much. But um, they all collectively need to have that energy to keep things moving forward. Mutual trust, um, making sure that everyone has each other's back. Um, I think that's important also for, especially from a management perspective. And then supportive processes, things that. Uh, will allow um, individuals to succeed in what they're doing and, um, and uh, to be able to, to use their talents to the best of their ability. So uh, step one in my recipe uh, for, 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 for creating a high performance team from scratch was, you know, we need, all need to start with a passion. And um, for many of us, um, 
those are going to be different. Um, uh, the key questions that um, I think each of us need to 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 in, have some introspection about is what drives you, what motivates you. Um, other things that um, uh, we like to ask uh, or find out about people on our team or people who are going to join it is what what do you love about security? What what are you passionate about? You know, um, are you passionate about penetration testing and um, and and some other intrinsics that we like to find out is is uh, what do you like to do um, outside of work um, for fun and enjoyment and I, I find that uh, that's extremely important because lots of um, our bonding events uh, bonding times is 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 based around um, what we do for fun and enjoyment. You can see from from uh, the slide, and you'll see the the, the theme that uh, I'll be going in is um, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of our fun and enjoyment uh, as a team comes out in during uh, you know informal team events like uh, dinners, going for lunch, um, having um, uh, getting to together at someone's house for for just food and and drink and enjoyment and um, that's something that I think uh, has always resonated with our team, and it's a it's a common passion. And um, um, for a high-performing team, it's also very important to find um, something there. There's a common passion about, and you know what uh, what will continue to motivate a team. So, for for our particular team, um, I certainly feel that uh, the 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 desire to 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 be the best at, at what they do. In the pen test field is is something that we all share to to be recognized um, for for the work that we do and um, I think that is the driving force between everything that uh, that we do um, within our team. So continuing to, along this path. So um, for many years when we first started off, we um, we were were really focused on on kind of building up our 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 skill set our our services offerings and um, methodologies and um, we did uh, you know we did continue keep moving forward um, with the the help of um, all individuals um, to 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 keep keep maturing but uh, a couple of years ago uh, we realized that we kind of had hit um, Hit, not hit a wall, but we kind of wondered what, uh, whether, where to go next, and um, we decided then that it would be best to to have a strategic planning session. And um, well, when we did that, we we um, spent uh, a number of days offsite um, with the with the leadership team, and we tried to figure out um, what uh, what we have as a team. You know, what are we good at? Um, where do we want to go and um, how do we get there? So during the sessions, we um, we uh, did a SWOT analysis about our team. What were our core competencies? What are our competitive advantages? What are our core strengths and values? Um, we looked at um, uh, what are, are some of the the internal and external issues that uh, drive what we do. Um, whether it um, be be um, what was the the client um, marketplace looking like, and you know what are our competitors doing, and what do we need to do to 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 grow market share. But the other important thing that we did find, find out, try to find out is where were we going, and um, it's hard uh, if you haven't uh, determined that. To, to to have a united uh, front when you're doing um, working as a team. Um, if you don't know what your destination is, then um, it's difficult to to chart up a, a course as well as to invite others to go along with you. So we we went into vision casting and we asked ourselves, where are we going and why should we go there? Um, what is our definition of winning when we uh, arrive? And if success were a place, how would we know when we got there? 
Um, we also try to def determine what uh, is our core purpose uh, for the team. Um, what are we here to do at the end of the day? Who are our key stakeholders? And what are their expectations of us? And, and also importantly, how will we achieve this, our purpose going forth? So this was a, certainly a, a, a big, um, I think, uh, in, introspection for our team. And coming out of it, we came up with uh, our vision, which is uh, simply to, to be the leader in cybersecurity services, providing industry-recognized assessments and research, as well as our purpose, um, providing our clients with meaningful uh, security insights, enabling to mitigate risks against their critical assets. So I'd encourage uh, each of you and your teams to, to, uh, to at least come up with these two. I know sometimes these uh, uh, may not seem meaningful, if, especially if taken from a corporate context, but certainly uh, for your own individual teams, I, I would uh, highly recommend um, uh, uh, coming up with a vision and a mission statement for your teams, as it, again, sets the course for, for what you do. So the next uh, coming out of after defining our vision and, and mission statement, we tried to determine what our our goals would be for the team. And um, yeah, this this was extremely important uh, as well because um, by setting goals, uh, you will then be able to measure um, uh, how how well you're doing and. Uh, um, be able to see if you are making progress towards your 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 vision statement. So uh, when you're setting goals, uh, certainly you need they need to be smart ones, uh, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time based. Um, so we came up with overarching. We came up with our, as you see here, four overarching goals that um, we wanted to achieve. And for each of these goals, we set out uh, different objectives. Um, which uh, then bro were broken down into different initiatives that would allow us to to do these. So you can see we were looking at enhancing our service offering, being able to to move from doing traditional pen tests uh, all the way up to adversarial simulation, um, even doing uh, attack miter type assessments. Um, so that is an ever evolving um, goal that we we all all continue to do. The next thing was to empower the sales organizations to be able to sell our services. And frankly, I know um, sometimes uh, as, a, as a techie, it may not seem that important to do these things, but um, unfortunately, we all have to get paid and clients are the ones that, that uh, pay us. And, and uh, um, what we try to do uh, as a goal is to ensure that we arm the sales organization with whatever they had they needed to be able to readily and easily uh, sell our services. Um, next thing is, is also, I think, very important for, for many of us is improve, increase our brand recognition in the security marketplace. Um, I know security professionals are, are, are very proud people and they want to be uh, recognized for, for the work that they do. And um, um, yeah, that is certainly one of the things that we saw as very important <clears throat> to, to, to develop. And the last but not least, uh, certainly in my mind, is, is to continue to value and develop personnel. Um, uh, you'll see in, a, in the, the next slides that um, without people who are, are, are motivated and um, just passionate about what they do, um, you really don't have, uh, um, you don't, you don't have a team. And uh, uh, that is something that we, we really focus on is, is valuing and developing them. So I'll go into people. Um, as I shared, we um, started off with the, the one co-op student and uh, he actually found us on his own. He's a specific, a very special individual um, as, a, as an intern. Um, we hadn't uh, yet uh, started into to, um, hiring or recruiting from, from the colleges yet, but he found us and um, we're, we're very blessed and fortunate that he did. Um, so having said that, we started with him and uh, our intern program has continued 
um, from the, this, this, the first uh, one. We've now recruited from many colleges and uh, over half our team are, are interns who, who, who work with us during a co-op program. And, um, you know, our, our actual team has been built up of interns. Um, I, I myself was one um, when I first started um, as a 40 something intern and um, there's certainly something to say about um, the, the passion and the motivation and the innovation and just high intelligence that, that young people bring um, to a team and it, it's uh, certainly served us well. Um, one thing uh, also that I think is a, a core strength of our team is that is a variety and of individuals that that make up our team. We have um, people who are from many diverse cultural backgrounds, um, life experiences. Um, we have individuals from um, with uh, like myself from the Caribbean. Uh, we have people from Africa or sorry of heritage, um, India. Um, and uh, Korea, Turkey, uh, Ukraine, you name it. So um, I think what that brings is 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 really a, the variety is a diverse um, attitudes and, and, and approaches to to how we do work. And um, I'm very thankful that um, we've blended together all these different uh, backgrounds and uh, working together to 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 really um, do something special. Uh, and despite that, we even though we we do have differences, um, I do tend to believe that uh, a lot of us are are similar in many ways. Um, the temperament, for the most part, is quite similar. They're they're usually very hardworking, very um, high integrity, um, uh, proud of what they their work, and um, always looking to better themselves. So um, I think. That is something that uh, goes without saying. Um, uh, usually, a high-performing team will will have uh, very similar characteristics in the people that are on the team. Um, um, adding to that, though, um, as you see here, uh, given that we did uh, have a high um, a number of uh, uh, young people and interns, we added some very seasoned and gifted individuals to round out the team. Um, we're fortunate to to be able to find some, um, you know, people with a lot of experience, breadth of knowledge in the security field, and similar passion for for security, um, who are who are looking to break into the offensive security work. And um, so we we have been very fortunate to to have uh, three or four individuals join us, who uh, eventually became really more more of a, a driving force for for the organ for our team and. And continue to push us forward. So um, yeah, I'll go on to some of the values that uh, are very important, I think, for um, keeping the harmony within the team. So these values are, are taken from our, our the company that first acquired Eosensa, which was Scalar. Uh, but I think they they really relate um, directly to to how our team does things. And um, if uh, you haven't um, put out uh, or thought of uh, values of things that of how you do things at your within your team, I think this is extremely important also to define. Um, so push forward is is always you know continue to 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 get better, um, continuous improvement. Um, moving the needle forward and um, having everyone progress, innovate, and be challenged. Do the right thing is, uh, from my perspective, is to have integrity in everything you do. Um, ensure that you, uh, you know, respect others. Um, um, ensure you re respect clients. Um, ensure that there, there is an every integrity in everything that you do um, in your work. Be accountable is. Uh, I think I've spoken about it before, is just ensure that, uh, yeah, you take responsibility for, for your actions. And, um, you know, whether it be good or bad, you know, you, you will you'll take, take responsibility. Work as a team is um, kind of uh, evident, you know, continue to have co collaboration, work, uh, work cohesively and um, 
it's uh, not only me, only for for myself, but you know we're doing this for a team. Um, a lot of our um, um, in our off time, we ensure that our goals um, is are either to to improve ourselves um, or improve something that uh, will help the team, and then finally um, something that uh, will make us more valuable to our customer. And then the final value is is which is very much uh, part of our our team DNA is to have fun. Um, I've spoken about the ad hoc um, uh, dinners and lunches. You know we've had um, movie nights. Um, one of the fun things I like to do is whenever someone joins a team, we'll uh, we'll have um, rum and coke and uh, play some dominoes and indoctrinate the individual. Um, uh this summer we we had meetups in a park because uh, we'd been missing everyone but um and uh even team members do go on pokemon pokemon hunts uh, on a regular basis so um without having fun um uh, it, it it comes kind of stale so um to keep tight knit i think um this is something that we've really focused on So step three, so we seasoned with progressive training, experience, cutting edge tools, methodology and expected processes. So yeah, uh, I would say that um, I love this graphic of uh, the kitchen and uh, this for me is a, is a, a, a big example of a high performing team. Everyone with their own roles and, and things uh, that they need to take care of doing their, their job using their, their special tools and techniques and everyone working towards a common objective and goal. And uh, I think it's a, a great example of a high performing team. So as, as we all know, um, pen testers have a voracious appetite uh, when it comes to, to keeping on top of the latest trends in the security field. And most are always working to, to keep up to date on you know, what's the latest tools, um, what are the, the latest um, exploits or techniques that you can be used um, or frameworks like attack miter. Um, so research is always an ongoing um, part of, of what a progressive and um, high performing team will be doing. Um, there, there are other things uh, that uh, we've also done to, to improve our efficiencies. You know, we've looked at, at tools that will, you know, um, free up time from repetitive and menial tasks. For example, with our reporting, we've used uh, Dratus. Um, we've uh, uh, written internal tools to help us with our QA process. And uh, even uh, use tools like uh, a resource guru to, to be able to schedule in um, our team members. Um, and uh, that becomes very important, especially at, at busy times like this time of year. Uh, for our teams to be able to see whether we can uh, squeeze in the next project or or not, um, training and is is a uh, is extremely important for for myself. Um, we ensure that the team our team members get the the most progressive training, you know whether it be from um, uh, offensive security. Um, we are using e-learning a lot these days and. Um, Spectre Ops and, uh, and uh, I personally like uh, a lot of what Black Hills InfoSec uh, is doing these days. And so we ensure that um, uh, individuals are, are given opportunity for training. Um, coming to conferences like this, uh, like uh, Hackfest are all also extremely important, um, not only for the learning aspect, but uh, also for the team building. And uh, I think um, it, it was something that our team always look forward to is to, to go to to one of the cons each year and just be able to spend some time with each other. Uh, finally, the experience is just uh, ensure that um, team members are progressing in their their in, in what they're able to do. Um, for the most part, we we kind of break our our team up into kind of web app or network pen test, um, and a lot of the times then we'll progress the network people up to to doing adversarial simulation and red team. So there has to be a progressive experience for for our individuals, and uh, that's part of um, continuing to 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 grow the team into to a high performing one. So I'll move into process and process. 
is um, is what we use to to continue to be efficient, um, able to to use um, uh, uh, things that uh, will allow us to to succeed um, more effectively. Um, we've improved our processes around sales, uh, quoting, using qu quoting spreadsheets, and uh, um, allowing um, uh, bringing on individuals who who were able to to speak to client needs and and kind of offloading uh, the need for some of our pen testers to to get on sales calls. Quality, uh, we have uh, gone gone through a lot of iterations to ensure that. The end product for our clients is is very good, and usually that end product is is a reporting a report. Um, we go through at least three stages of quality assurance uh, to ensure that uh, what the client is getting is is something that uh, that they expected and um, are are happy with. And then efficiency, I've talked about a little bit before, uh, in the previous slide. You know, always looking at ways that we can become uh, more efficient in in the way that we we do things and uh, you know shorten the time or or do it a better way and uh, that's uh, certainly something that we we strive for is to to keep uh, improving in that in these areas and then promote uh, promote is uh, where we ask uh, everyone to ensure that you know whatever we put out to our client that it it speaks to uh who we are as a brand um that's uh, why we go through a lot of qa and i encourage uh, a lot of our, our 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 consultants to ensure that they make sure that they're proud of their own personal brand so whether they're in a call with a client whether they're sending an email um however that any kind of interaction that uh, they make sure that they they do that uh, um, and make it be a reflection of, of who they are. Um, promoting excellence is certainly something that that uh, we need to 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 strive for um, as a high performing team. Personal growth I've spoken about. Um, we do that by by ensuring that uh, each each individual has set uh, personal goals, and we keep monitoring that through one and ones um, uh, or skip level meetings. And then finally, corporate citizenship. Uh, because we're in a big corporation, it's important that we're seen uh, seen in a good light by other parts of the organization. So, whether it be our PM PMO office, uh, whether it be sales and marketing, uh, HR, finance, or even our sister teams that uh, we work with, um, we always promote good corporate citizenship. And then environment. So we we've been very careful about uh, how we um, yeah how team we brought everyone together and uh, everything that we do we 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 keep in mind that we want to maintain a, a very very close tight knit environment. Um, so I've spoken that before. Um, so we we certainly encourage that there be full participation and engagement by all of the team members. Uh, and uh, uh, ensure that they all understand that we're, what we're trying to achieve, what our vision is, and um, that everything that they do, um, whether it be QA a report, whether it be schedule an individual for an engagement, um, responding to a client, that that everything um, that that is done is important and. Um, that uh, not to, not to to feel that uh, it's not worthwhile. Um, innovation we've talked about. Um, uh, pen testers like to be innovative. They want to be cutting edge. Um, if they don't see uh, that uh, there there's been improvement or, or that there's challenging um, in in what they do, then uh, they get uh, really uh, bored very easily. So. We want to ensure that uh, that we're continuing to be leading edge and cutting edge in everything that we do. And then finally, collaboration. Um, that tight knit collaboration, um, making sure that uh, everyone uh, their bonds between ten team members, which allow them to coordinate their work and achieve full e efficiency and effectiveness.
So the next next thing uh, to we talk about is roles, and roles is is important because um, all of us have different strengths, and um, I tend to to uh, work uh, towards having people use their strengths because I know that by doing so the the outcome will usually lead to success. So whenever um, we um, uh, put uh, uh, whatever we do, we always look for people to succeed in what they're doing. So for any any um, any work objectives, we we look at the strengths of the individuals and we see where we can use them most effectively. And we know that by by them using their strengths, they will um, certainly be more high performing and then um, when, when they are doing so with, uh, you know, with a great passion that eventually we will, will have be successful in what we're doing. So we were sh in, uh, careful in, in, in uh, ensuring that um, everyone is, is um, being put in positions where they're able to succeed. And the next thing is conflict. Uh, so I spoke uh, earlier that, yeah, when you've got uh, very intelligent individuals, very opinionated individuals. Uh, eventually, there there will event be some conflict. Um, important uh, to to understand that yeah, it, it it's going to happen sometimes, but uh, we you you kind of have to embrace it. And uh, as long as it's not become destructive, then then usually it leads to to good outcomes. So for conflict, uh, just consult the situation, see what what uh, what the issue is you know how how important is it to to try and resolve it usually it will work itself out between individuals but if not then um uh it's usually a manager's team or someone's uh a role or someone else to to kind of consult see what the differences are uh clarify those with individuals and then um if if action needs to be taken then you just uh, provide counsel and um, usually, uh, for the most part, uh, these things will work themselves out, and uh, usually for for the betterment of the team. So I'll move on to uh, step five, which is to to ensure that you allow each ingredient to develop to their full potential. And I like these slides when I was putting uh, this together. And uh, so uh, as you go along, um, it's important to to make sure that you take stock of uh, of how you're progressing. So are we fulfilling our vision and our purpose? Um, and are we meeting our goals and objectives? So uh, as you go, as we move on, we regularly do this through, through, through monthly continuous improvement meetings and town halls. It's just a reminder uh, for everyone to, to take stock of, you know, uh, their work and you know, also a way to 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 see if we're progressing. And uh, talking about progressing, I think it's extremely important that we give praise to to uh, the individuals on our team, no matter what, uh, um, uh, how small or how big. Um, see, you know, it's it's so easy to to kind of overlook, but just saying thank you for for what uh, someone did um, and appreciating the individual is is super important. So it's uh, saying is like kind words are like honey and sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. And um, how uh, when do you praise? Uh, yeah, whenever you see someone do something that uh, is meeting one of the values that uh, you have, you know, being pushing forward, doing the right thing, what have you. Um, some of the things that we've done is, is, and it may sound cliche, but we do have an employee of the month. Um, we we acknowledge every every uh, small win that we we have as a team, and I think this is extremely important to continue to acknowledge uh, individuals for their contributions, and uh, it goes a long way in 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 just um, bringing good harmony to the team. Um, Step five, yeah, just continue to have patience. Uh, this is a process, you know, we've been doing this for seven years now and, you know, everyone uh, progresses at a different rate. Um, some you want to, to push a little bit harder, some 
uh, are already self-motivated enough, but patients, you know, we've, as I reflect back on our journey now, it's, uh, we've come a long way from seven years ago and I'm really proud of uh, the achievements that, that, that we've done. And um, yeah, it takes time. It, uh, Rome isn't built in a day. And then leadership. So yeah, leadership is super important because um, one, no one individual can be the, just the leader of a, of a high, if highly if, uh, performing team. Um, it takes multiple leaders. Um, and we've been fortu fortunate that um, individuals have uh, stepped up to, to take on different roles. Um, there are different type of leaders. Uh, there are leaders who are, are vested in, in developing individuals. So these are the ones that will be your, your people managers. There's also thought leadership, you know, those who, yeah, who are gonna drive, drive your technical advancements. And, and then finally, there are these servant leaders that um, I, I personally like uh, to give credit to because these are the quiet leaders they go about doing their job. They they will do um, they'll do a lot of the dirty work without complaint and knowing that uh, they're they're contributing contributing to the team and they're just as valuable as any of the other two. And um, this is something that uh, yeah we we all need to to do within a high high performing team because um, it's distributed leadership and um, everyone is a leader in themselves and uh, must take accountability for, for their actions. And finally, um, don't forget to celebrate. Um, I think a lot of the time we, while we're on the road, um, we, we, we are so fixated on, on where we're going, but we forget to enjoy uh, the journey. And um, uh, a lot of the times the, uh, we'll do this, we'll re do the reflection around this time of year once we've gotten through our busy season um, and, and just see what we've achieved uh, for the past year and to just and celebrate it. Um, it. A lot of times it will be, um, we'll go out for a big team lunch at the end of the year and just enjoy each other's company and um, just appreciate one another. So, um, yeah, so yeah, once you've, uh, you continue on, make sure you don't forget to enjoy the journey and because uh, um, it's, uh, it's never ending and um, yeah, a lot of hard work goes into it. So remember to celebrate. So gone through a lot of, of um, uh, information this morning. Here's a, just a recap of, of uh, what I, I believe uh, makes a high performing pen test theme. Um, yeah, it's go, there's a lot that goes into it, but um, be proud of, uh, of everything that you accomplish. Appreciate your people is 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 certainly something that uh, I'm a big um, proponent for. And then enjoy it, enjoy the journey. And with that, uh, thank you for your your attention this morning and your presence. And I hope you enjoy the the rest of uh, Hackfest. So I don't know if uh, we have any time for Q&A, but. Uh, yeah, we're at the end. So uh, yeah, question and answer will be in the Discord. Okay. Like another uh, other conference. Uh, if, if you don't have access to the Discord, um, uh, there's a no. ca channel for that. Just I'm ask on. to it. You're, you're on the Discord. Do you have talk on Q and A? Is it the, is it in the Q and A channel? Yeah, it's in the Q and A channel. It's it's called it's the Talk Conf uh, Q and A. So it's oh. uh, the seventh one in the the Hackfest uh, 2020. Uh, okay. Session. Uh, I, can, I can go there now, and I'll just yeah, yeah. pass it back to you. Then thanks, Philippe. Perfect. Thanks.